Let's now move to HB 282, um, speed monitoring systems, agencies, statements, and certificates of violations. Patrick, you want to walk us through the bill? Well, we have an amendment, or I drafted up an amendment that um, Gretchen should have. Um, the bill as drafted um, um, says, um, current law for speed cameras is that you need signed statement by law enforcement officer signing off on the citation. Um, and this bill changes it to be a police officer or a technician. Um, but the amendment limits the technician only for municipal corporation that does not maintain a police force. I Thank think it helps. Yeah, so the discussion was that going to from those jurisdictions that have law enforcement to all the way to um, non law enforcement was just a jump too far. So in order to help those municipalities that want these programs but don't have law enforcement, um, this was the compromise that we came up with because right now they have to contract with another law enforcement. Yes, Delegate Morgan. Thank you, Madam Chair. So um, I use a rural county like statement. You have a county police force and you're 30 officers short right now to meeting whatever their goals are supposed to be, as, and that's as of today. So you're saying that we would have to take a law enforcement officer off the patrol in the streets to do this, where they could possibly be able to hire a technician if the funds were available. That is the current law. So what we're trying to do with this bill is take a step away from the law enforcement requirement. I know MAKO um, and MML want us to go much farther than this, but this is where the comfort zone was um, in terms of moving away from the law enforcement. So I would, so in the case of St. Mary's, which only has a county police force, we would have to use a county officer to do this work. We would not be able to hire a technician, correct? Correct. Correct. Thank you. Delegate Davis. Thank you. So I guess you guys have noticed that I generally do not like speed cameras. And I just want to go on the record um, that with the proliferation, and we're doing a lot of them, proliferation of speed cameras, that they don't take bad actors off the road. You can't, you're not giving points. Um, the, uh, it seems to be where everybody's going, where every jurisdiction is going, and we're not taking bad actors off the road. And I believe they're just for money grabs. Uh, and another problem I have with it is that they get put in certain communities and we're not doing anything about um, being able, about certain communities being targeted. So I just wanted to weigh in on that, that I won't be supporting them. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate Davis. Delegate Healy. Yeah, uh, just a couple of things. One, on the police officers, uh, when the, the original law was passed, the reason police officers were put in was because they wanted to have someone who had something to lose, that, that, that if they were not doing it honestly or correctly, that uh, they would be a sworn officer and it wouldn't be just a, a town clerk or somebody like that uh, because of the, the fear of uh, having this be just a money grab. Uh, a lot of people have over the years, and since it's been in effect, have seen that it has, in a lot of places, changed behavior. And uh, it has reduced speeding in the school zones. And that's why it has expanded in some places, because people, based on people's experience. Uh, so I I think this is a good step in the right direction. Well, I don't even know if it's a good step in the right direction. It's a good step because for the small towns that don't have any police, uh, th they would and they have in the past had to rely on a neighboring police force. And the neighboring police force don't want to share their personnel with somebody who doesn't have one. So uh, I think that, that this actually is an opportunity for uh, the smaller jurisdictions to participate if they think it will make their streets safer. So I'm fine with it, with the amendment. 
Thank you, Delegate Healy. Delegate Stewart. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yeah, I think when when this law was originally originally written to require police officer involvement, I think that made a lot of sense for the time. I mean, I think that there were a lot of worries about this kind of program and how it would work and how it would be implemented. I mean, we can even those those of us who weren't here, we can empathize because we just passed the the noise camera bill and that took us a couple of years to even kind of wrap our head around. So I can understand what it must have felt like to roll this out in the initial stages. But I think we're now, you know, this this number of years later, I think we're clearly at a point where we can say that uh, police officers are not necessary to look at some the, a photo of someone's license plate. And especially at a time where I think we have rising crime throughout the state, I really think our officers should be doing the job that the taxpayers pay them to do, not doing administrative and clerical work in a back office that any trained person could do. And so I think regardless of what you think about speed cameras broadly, I think this just makes sense in terms of good government. Now, that said, obviously, I like the original bill, but I do respect the amendment. I understand that that we need to sort of be, ta be taking steps in this direction that aren't as ra necessarily as radical as the initial bill. I did some quick Googling. There are 70 of these jurisdictions across the country that don't have police officers, 70. So in a, in a way, this actually will be a very interesting pilot program to see how this is done to gain better. Um, you know, I think all of us gain more comfort about technicians doing this. I don't I don't expect them to have any problem, but we'll have 70 examples, hopefully, of them doing really well. And then we can come back to this. And then I think the rationale at that point can be, hey, if some of the smallest towns in the state can pull this off, then certainly now we can feel comfortable expanding it to some of the larger jurisdictions as well. Thank you, Delegate Stewart. And just to correct, I thought I heard you say 70 in the country, but there are 70 in the state. Correct. Sorry, I don't care about the rest of the country. <laughs> thank you. Delegate Jacobs. Okay, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Patrick, perhaps you can help me with this understanding if if someone challenges one of these tickets and it's a technician that that's monitoring this how does that work in the court system the well i, I don't think it matters because the police officer is not required to show and the technician under the bill is not required to show the operator can be requested to show but the ticket is self-authenticating so, so under current law, uh, the the police officers aren't. Uh, if, if someone challenges the uh, the the uh, the speed camera fine, that that the police officer, which is current law, was would not be required to to go to court. That's what you're saying. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Any further discussion? Okay. Um, Move the amendment. Thank you. Is there a second? Okay, I see both uh, Delegate Guyton and Delegate Healy raising their hands, so there's a second. Any discussion on, further discussion on the amendment? Okay, all in favor of the amendment, say aye, raise your hand. Aye. Aye. Okay, all those opposed? Okay, the amendment passes on Move the bill as amended. Move the bill. There's a motion and a second. All in favor of the bill as amended? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Delegate Morgan? Okay. Delegate Davis. And Delegate, Delegate Davis. Davis. Sorry, I didn't I didn't see you, Delegate Davis. My apologies. Okay. 282 passes. 